What's up, guys? This is round three of Bible Trivia, and for this one, I'm actually going to be reading notes directly from my very own website from a study I did that I will share with you at the end. This trivia will be lovingly called, Who from the New Testament Said This? Now, if you get this one right, not only will you have, like, supreme bragging rights, but you will literally be given the gift of freedom. Okay, let's just jump straight into this. I'm going to read seven quotes from someone in the New Testament, and at the end, you tell me who said it. Number one, but such are as true racers, arriving at the end, both receive the prizes and are crowned. Number two, this shows that there is a war within us against ourselves, going on in every individual of us. Number three, to be carnally minded is death. Number four, now, if death is like this, then I say to die is gain. Number five, I am very far from admitting that he who contemplates existences through the medium of thought sees them only through a glass dimly, any more than he who sees them in their working effects. Number six, then we ought not to retaliate or render evil for evil to anyone, whatever evil we may have suffered from him. And last but certainly not least, number seven, temples are not built to God of stones piled on high. He must be consecrated in the heart of every man. All right. Can you guess it? Do you know who said these things in the New Testament? Plato. Yes, I know. I know. Plato didn't write the New Testament, but he might as well have. Now, Plato lived from 427 B.C. to 347 B.C., uh, B.C.E. rather, which would have been about 400 years before Paul ever showed up and started writing the exact same thing. Paul, of course, was trying to develop the doctrines of Jesus Christ, but of course, Paul never actually met Jesus Christ. Well, he says he met him on the road to Damascus in this vision, but unfortunately, that story was lifted from an earlier play by Euripides, also from 410 BC. You got to remember here, Paul was the first person to ever write anything Christian at all for the New Testament or for the biblical doctrines we have today. The Gospels wouldn't come until decades after Paul's writings, and then they would embellish and add on to to historicize Paul's mytholo mythologized Jesus figure. Clearly, Paul, being a Hellenized Jew himself, had beliefs that mirrored the Hellenized Jewish beliefs that were already well known and established in that Greco-Roman area. Now, if you go to the bullet holes in the Bible website with my link in the bio, by the way, or to my YouTube channel, I have a video as well, a mini documentary called Paul or Plato. And there I have the references, sources, pictures, all kinds of stuff on the uh, article with all the information you need to prove that Paul copied all his stuff from Seneca, Plato, Aristotle, and others. So, did you win your freedom?